So we're here at uh, MediaTek and uh, hi, so who are you? Hi, my name is Arpin Sogoyan and I am with MediaTek Labs. Here we are presenting our IoT platform and this is the Linkit1 development board with um, rich connectivity features and you can see the chipset supporting the GPS, GSM, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and um, it can be used uh, as a feature phone. So once you insert your SIM card to it, you can use it as a phone. SIM card? Where? The SIM card can be inserted at the back part of the board. Nice. You can see the slot over there. And in the same place, you, you can also insert the SD card. So it's right here, uh, it's like a, there's a Linkit 1 and Linkit Assist. What's yes. the difference? What is um, this one? This is a prototyping board. Prototyping the, board. The Linkit one is a prototyping board, and then with Linkit Assist you can go to production. And, go to production. Uh, what I mean is like if you have an idea to develop an IoT application, then uh, you can start prototyping your application over here and take it to production. All and right. uh, this is the back view of our Linkit Assist product. So how much it costs this? Is for the Linkit one, it's $59, which is a great price for this IoT platform. And, and here's the specs. These are the specs uh, for Linkit One Connect, which is uh, for Wi Fi applications, Linkit One, and also Linkit Assist. So it's MT2502, which is ARM7 EGS. And, uh, uh, what can people do with that kind of stuff? You can build any type of IoT applications. Starting from smart devices, you can uh, create a weather station, monitor the temperature and pressure and um, any type of information you want to, real time, anytime, anywhere. All right. And, and uh, let's uh, go over here. Let's check this one out. So here you are. In what are you showing here? Demo, we are showing the rich connectivity options for our Linkit One development board. You can see the SIM card attached to the board. We have the GPS antenna, GSM antenna, and the board can operate either powered by a battery or connected with a micro USB. So right. what happens here? We have the process of taking the data, GPS coordinates and transferring this data using the PubNav data streaming network to a map box, a custom designed map, and viewing the data anytime from anywhere. And you can see the map output over here on the screen. And well, let's make sure that we are really located in Santa Clara <laughs> Convention Center. And it's all presented on the map. So people can make a tracker. Yes, this is a perfect a GPS example tracker. of a GPS tracker. With a GPS, with a SIM card. 2G or 3G yes. data? Yeah, 2G data. 2G data? Yes. And uh, then after, they make a real product. That's the idea, right? Of course. They start with this and then they make a real product, mass production? Uh, yes, so this is the prototyping and then, of course, all these ideas can be mass produced. Are you promoting this a lot in the US or where? Um, MediaTek Labs is a global company. It's based in Taipei. But we have offices in Europe, in the US, and um, uh, yes, so we are based everywhere. <laughs> and people can find it online and order. Yes. Oh, is it popular already? It's uh, really yeah, popular, it's yes. It, lots of people are buying this? And Yeah, because this is a great tool, great device for IoT type of applications. And all the connectivity features are on a single board. You don't need to attach any extra device for Wi-Fi support or Bluetooth support. It's all on a single device. And, and the SIM card plus, is special. Yes. It's not, there's not many development boards with built-in SIM card slots. Right. And plus, you can attach a groove sensor kit on, or a groove shield on top of this using these pins and attach as many SIM cards as you would like to. Uh, not SIM cards, sorry, uh, sensors as uh, you would like to. Maybe there's a groove adapter that adds a SIM card slot. Maybe not. Okay, but <laughs> I'm lots not sure. Of sensors. Yeah, that what I meant is like the sensor yeah. connectivity, which is very essential for the IoT development. So only fifty nine dollars. Only fifty nine dollars. So every school is getting into buying this for the students to make stuff. It could be for students. It could be for startups. It could be for anyone who is interested in engineering and IoT applications. 